Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about uh, conditional probability which is uh, and how to solve the conditional probability questions using the tree diagram. So if you watched our conditional probability video before in that I actually uh, introduced conditional probability to everyone. Well in this video what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show how to solve conditional probability questions using using something known as tree diagram. Now before I go into that I'm just going to introduce uh, the conditional probability to you you know define it again. So what do you mean by conditional probability? It actually means that if I say what is the probability that event A will occur such that event B has already occurred. So what is this? This is something which is known as the probability probability that event a will occur such that B has already occurred. So such that B has already occurred, right? So uh, this is what you mean by, uh, you know, this is something what you mean by the conditional probability. And in the previous video, I actually showed you that the conditional probability is that is actually equal to. Now, if I say uh, event B has already occurred, so this is event B and there is some part of B in which A is going to occur. So what is the probability that this is going to occur? That is actually going to be equal to this probability, which is probability of A intersection B divided by this probability that is probability of B. So this is how you say probability of A occurring such that B has already occurred is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Similarly, just to tell you that probability of event B occurring such that A has already occurred will actually be equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A occurring. Well, I will recommend you to go ahead and watch the first video if you haven't watched it. That will actually clear a lot. Uh, that will actually clear the concept about uh, conditional probability for you because this video is specially designed to uh, to show you how to solve conditional probability using the tree diagram. Now, let's go ahead and draw the tree diagram. Now, let's say what exactly is this tree diagram that I've been talking about. Well, this is a, another way in which you can actually solve the conditional probability questions. Now, what are these ways? Well, that's actually very, very easy. Now, uh, let's suppose there are two events, event A and event B. Okay, so there are two possibilities for event A. Event A can occur or event A will not occur. Isn't it? So this is the probability of event A occurring and this is the probability of event A not occurring. Isn't it? So I'm going to call it uh, A complement. This is nothing but complement. And something that you know is that probability of A plus probability of A complement is always equal to one. Probability of something happening plus the probability of something not happening is actually equal to one. Now there are going to be two more cases here. Either event B will occur or event B will not occur. Again, either event B will occur or event B will not occur. Now, this is something which is known as the tree diagram. Now, what is this? So, event A occurring and event B occurring, the probability here is going to be probability of A intersection B. Event A occurring and event B not occurring is actually equal to probability of A intersection B dash. Event A not occurring, event B occurring is actually equal to probability of A complement intersection B. And event A not occurring, event B not occurring is probability of A not occurring and B not occurring. So uh, this is what it is. And what is this here? I mean, like, what would you put here? Now, if I let's suppose I put X here, okay? So I'm saying that probability of A into X is actually equal to probability of A intersection B. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying probability of A into this probability is actually equal to this probability because this probability occurred and then this probability occurred and then I actually got this probability. So I'm saying probability of A into X actually gives me probability of A intersection B. And what is this X equal to? This X is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of A. Now what is this? This is equal to probability of A occurring such that B has already occurred, isn't it? So what is this? This is probability of event A occurring such that B has already occurred, right? So that's exactly what this is. I'm sorry, this is probability of 
a B occurring such that A has already occurred because over here A has occurred and this is A. I'm sorry about that. So what is this X equal to? The X is equal to probability of B occurring such that A has already occurred. And what is this equal to? This is equal to probability of B not occurring such that A has already occurred. And what is this equal to? probability of B occurring such that A has not occurred and what is this equal to the probability of B not occurring such that A has not occurred. So this is what a tree diagram is and you can clearly see that this plus this will be one and this plus this will be one. The probability of B occurring such that A has occurred plus the probability of B not occurring such that A has occurred is actually going to be equal to 1. So some of this will be 1, some of this will be 1, some of this will be 1. So the branches, the addition of branches will give you 1 and this is going to be equal to this into this, this is going to be equal to this into this, this is going to be equal to this into this and this is going to be this into this. So this is what I call a tree diagram. So I hope you understood this part here guys. Uh, let's let's move forward and do a question on this. So this question over here says that uh, So let me just get my pen Okay, so this question here says that the turnout of spectators at a motor rally is de Dependent on weather on a rainy day the probability of a big turnout is 0.4 So probability of a turnout is 0.4, but if it does not rain the probability of a big turnout increases to 0.9 right so the, the weather forecast gives a probability of 0.75 that it will rain so there are two chances either it will rain so this is either it will rain or it will not rain so or it will not rain and what is the probability of raining the probability of raining is 0.75 so this is 0.75 which means this over here is 0.25 because 0.75 plus 0.25 should actually be equal to 1 so this is 0.75 this is 1 minus 0.75 which is 0.25 now this is the this is raining and this is not raining so the turnout is dependent on the when rainy day the probability of a big turnout so there are two cases here either there would be a big turnout or there would be not a big turnout or uh, here also either there would be a big turnout or not a big turnout so the question here says that on a rainy day the probability of a big turnout is 0.4 so the question is saying on a rainy day, the probability of a big turnout is actually equal to 0.4. That means on a rainy day, so probability that it is a rainy day, such that there would be a big turnout is actually equal to 0.4. That means this over here is going to be 0.4 because this is 0.4. The probability that it's a rainy day, but it will turn out to be a big event is 0.4. If this is 0.4, this is going to be 0.6 because the sum of this is 1. I think we've actually established that in the previous case. Similarly, it says that, but if it does not rain, the probability of a big turnout decreases to 0.9. So he says that uh, if it does not rain, the probability of a big turnout increases to 0.9. So if it does not rain, this is 0.9, that means this is 0.1. What is this going to be? This is going to be 0.4 uh, into 0.75. This is going to be 0.6 into 0.75. This is going to be 0.9 into 0.25. And this is going to be 0.1 into 0.25. Now the question here, answer option A, says that draw a tree diagram to represent this information. Well, I just did that. Answer option B says that what is the probability that there is a big turnout and it rains. So there is a big turnout and it rains. So this is the probability. That is 0.4 into 0.75. So 75 times 4, it's 300 divided by 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3. So that is actually equal to 0.3. So there's a 30% chance that there would be a rain and there would be a big turnout. Answer option C. What is the probability that there is a big turnout? So the question is asking the probability that there is a big turnout turnout so this is a chance of the big turnout if it rains and this is a chance if a big turnout does not rain so the chance of having a big turnout is going to be this plus this so this over here is actually equal to 0.3 and this over here is actually equal to 0.225 that means our answer is going to be 0.3 plus 0.225 which is actually equal to 0.525 fine 
So I hope you understood this part here guys and uh, this is how I use a tree diagram to actually solve this question. So I'm just gonna you know just just do uh, the tree diagram again. So this is this over here is uh, the probability of A happening. This is so this is A happening. This is A not happening. This is the probability A of, of A not happening. This over here is B happening and B not happening. This over here is B happening and B not happening. This over here is probability of B happening such that A happens. This here is the probability of B not happening such that A happens. This over here is equal to probability of B not B happening such that A not happens. This over here is the probability of B not happening such that A not happens. And this over over here is this into this this over here is this into this and this into this so if I want to find the probability of B happening that will actually be equal to this plus this if I want to find out the probability of B not happening that will actually be equal to this plus this I'm sorry this plus this fine so I hope you understood this part here guys I hope this clears a lot of doubt for you if you actually not able to solve the the conditional probability question using the traditional uh, using the traditional uh, way this is a way you can actually use it so let's go ahead and do this question again so that you know I can just give you some confidence in it so this question here says that a and b are two events such that probability of a happening such that b has happened is uh, 0.1 probability of A happening such that B has not happened is 0.6 and the probability of B happening is 0.3. So I'm going to draw this diagram using B. So this is B and this is B not. So this is 0.3. Uh, if this is 0.3, this is going to be 0.7 because the sum is going to be 1. A will happen, A will not happen, A will happen and A will not happen. So the question says probability of A happening such that B happens is 0.1. Probability of A happening such that B does not B happens is 0.1. So this is 0.1, which means this is 0.9. Similarly, A dash A B dash is 0.6. A B dash is 0.6. So this is 0.6. That means this is 0.4. That means this over here is actually going to be equal to 0.3 into 0.1, which is 0.03. This is 0.9 into 0.7, that is 0.27. This is 0.6 into 0.7, that is 0.42. This is 7 into 4, that is 0.28. Now the question here is asking probability of A intersection B, which is actually going to be A intersection B, which is 0 0.03. B is A intersection B dash, A intersection B dash, which is 0.42. C which is probability of A, which is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.42, that is 0.45. And uh, D is point B such that A happens. So I have to actually find out B such that A happens. That, that means it's a whole new diagram again. I have to hold, I have to draw the whole new diagram again. Uh, so, but I, I've actually found out now that what is the probability of A happening? Well, well, that's easy now. So probability of B happening such that A has already happened is equal to probability of B intersection A divided by probability of A. And what is the probability of B intersection A? This one here, that is probability of A intersection B, which is 0 0.03 divided by the probability of A. And what's the probability of A? We just found that out. Find that out, that is 0 0.45. So divided by 0 0.45. So that is actually equal to uh, 3 over 45, which is actually equal to 1 over 15. So over here, the answer is 1 over 15. So I hope you understood this here. E is probability of B such that A has not happened. That is actually equal to B intersection A dash divided by probability of A dash. What is the probability of B intersection A dash? Probability of B intersection A dash is 0.27 divided by probability of A dash. What is the probability of A happening? 0.45 the probability of a not happening is 0.55 right that is 1 minus 0.45 that is actually equal to 0.55 that is the probability of a not happening so probability such that b happens such that a da a has not happened is equal to b intersection a dash divided by a dash and what is b intersection a dash that is 0.27 divided by 0.55 whatever the answer comes out is going to be the answer you can clearly see how easily I can do these questions here, right? So uh, I personally, I use, I, 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 was, I was not aware of this, this type of uh, way of solving this problem. But when I actually got introduced to it, I was, I was, you know, I wasn't very sure. But when I actually solved some questions on it, I found that, you know what? Well, this is a wonderful technique of solving conditional probability questions. Fine. So, so I hope this is clear, guys.
so i hope it's understood guys so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding the tree diagram right and uh, so make sure that you give us your valuable feedback at this email address that is support at perfectscores.org you can actually visit this website to know more about us and you can give us your valuable like on this facebook page so thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one guys